what's poppin', what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spizzards! I'm Simone bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here or if you are old here and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you stop what you're doing, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe. Also make sure you check out the links down below, one, two, buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. Shout out to everyone who bought me coffee so far. Also number two, to shop the official Smoon with this Bizords merch collection so you can be fresh to death out in these streets. You know what I'm mean? saying? So go shop the classic hoodie or the classic tee. Also make sure you subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports reporters, analysts, former and current athletes, chop it up with us on the pod. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that conversation, make sure you subscribe, subscribe to that podcast okay maybe i had a little bit too much coffee y'all maybe y'all been buying me too much coffee you know what i'm saying because i'm kind of like hyper right now you know what I'm saying? but hyper is better than dry so we got a little bit of stuff to talk about today guys also i meant to say earlier if i know i've been slacking a little bit on the interviews on small with the spizzle works but you guys know i do interviews for my job so i kind of be like um you know busy with interviews with my job so if you're missing interviews on my channel let me know and i'll bring those back i'll do what i can i'm a i'm a i'm a moan of the people i'm a moan of the people if y'all want it i'm gonna get it to y'all and that's on point blank period so if you missing the interviews let me know we're gonna bring them right in it ain't no problem that ain't no problem so let's talk about our guy Jalen hurts we got some nuggets for the draft or we got some smoke so Jalen Hurst, it's been reported that Jalen Hurst um, has been in contact with Devonta Smith. No surprise there. You know, these guys, they're all buds. They all hang out. They all talk. They all text, especially when they all go to the same college like Alabama. So Jalen Hurst and Devonta Smith has been in cahoots these past couple of days. Jalen Hurst has been giving him advice, preparing for the draft and talking about, you know, some of the outcomes that can happen in the draft. Now, it's been reported that we have been told to build around Jalen Hurts, whatever that means, whatever it doesn't. Um, Nick Sirianni and Howie Roseman kind of um, shot that down in their last press conference saying now nah, nobody told us to do that but obviously if you have a quarterback you have a guy a wide receiver that he wants won't you draft that wide receiver for example Patrick Mahomes obviously I know Jalen Hurts ain't Patrick Mahomes don't drop down my throat but Patrick Mahomes wanted to get Clyde Edwards-Alaire and what they do they got him so if Jalen Hurts wants a specific guy in the first round I mean, it's only right you get the guy his guy. So he's been talking to Devonta Smith. I know we're guys, we're Kyle Pitt guys and we're Jamar Chase guys. What do you guys think? Do, do you think that that's going to edge us to take Devonta Smith? Um, I really, in the greater scheme of things, I really don't think you can go wrong between three. Like, you can go more right with one, of course, but I don't think they, those guys have, all of them have so much potential, high potential. I honestly don't think we can go wrong with any one of the three. Now, could we go more right with one? Yes, but could we go wrong? No. So I don't think, if I, we draft Devonta Smith, I'm not gonna be upset over drafting Jamar Chase or Pitts. If we draft Pitts and we leave Jamar or Devonta before, I'm not gonna be upset. I, if I get one of the three, I'm happy, I'm good, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this changes things with us looking more at Devonta Smith? Cause I know recently reports and stuff saying we're more interested in Jamar Chase or Kyle Pitts. But him talking and texting Devonta, does that change things? Also, Jalen Hurst um, has said that Jalen Waddle is like a little brother to him. Of course, another Alabama boy. Does that change things too? Jalen Waddle, a little bro, and you want to play with your little bro? Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. But would you guys be upset if we get Jalen Waddle? If that is Jalen Hurst's guy, he said it was like his little bro. He praised him. He also praised Devonta Smith as well. I mean, I'm sure he praised anybody. But these are guys who are linked to him, who he's played with before, who he's practiced with, who he's built relationships with. And you know that goes a long way, quarterback to wide receiver. So it would play to his strengths to to, to draft a guy who he's already comfortable with. Um, also on Devonta Smith, Devonta Smith did weigh in at 170. Does that raise any eyebrows to you guys? Um, just having another smaller guy. Um, who knows, it's a long time till September, he could put on more weight, he could put on more pounds, but I see a lot of people talking about him weighing in at 170 and they're kind of uncomfortable with that. What do you guys think? You know, I don't body shit, but you know what I mean? You're going to take some hard hits, and if you are smaller, you know, it leads to more injuries usually um, when it comes to the wide receiver position. So let me know what you guys think. Are you concerned about Devonta Smith weighing in so low, comparably? Because um, obviously the Eagles need a X, we need a wide out, we need a guy who can be durable. We need a Julio Jones, you know what I'm saying? Big, big, Megatron, big body, you know what I'm 
I'm saying? Take some hits, get up, drag a guy like DK Metcalf, drag him, you know what I'm saying, for them extra yards. We need that grit, that grit. You know what I'm saying? So does that bother you that he is a smaller guy? Let me know. But like I said, I don't think we can go wrong between these three. Definitely want Jalen Hurst to have a guy who he's comfortable with already because, okay, that goes a long way. So let me know what you guys think. Um, do, would you now take Devonta Smith over a guy like Jamar Chase or a guy like Kyle Pitts because of the relationship that Jalen Hurst has now been coming out saying he has with Devonta Smith or Jalen Waddle, or are you still sticking with Kyle or Jamar? Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, as we get close to the draft, let me know what else you're interested in in the draft. Let me know, do you think the Eagles are interested in trading back or trading up? Obviously, it's a lot of guys that Devonta Smith has played with other than Jalen Hurst. Mac Jones, a guy coming out of the draft, and he's played with Tua as well. So, you know, the Dolphins could be interested in, you know, reuniting Tua with Devonta Smith. Let me know what you guys think, though, for us in this draft. Are we bona fide going Kyle Pitts or Jamar Chase? Or can you see us going Devonta or Waddle if those guys are on the board? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. You can hear it. Also, make sure you buy me that coffee down below. And shop the official moments with the Zoyce Merch Collection. Also, subscribe to the podcast, Tough Calls. And until I talk to you guys next time.